It's been three months. Oh, that's too much light. It's been three months. No, three and a half months sim since my first update. And I wanted to check in with you guys. I don't know if you can hear any difference in my voice. I think it's a little deeper. Um, I think my face has changed a little bit, my back and whatnot. Uh, that's not really what I'm here to talk about um, because you guys get physical changes all the time. <laughs> we, You know the physical changes. What I want to talk about is the emotional and inner changes um, and the social dynamics of what happens when you go through transition and especially something that happened with me recently um, my girlfriend uh, when she found out about my transition and uh, me being trans she didn't take it very well and we need we'd known each other for a long time she um, she was deeply emotionally disturbed by it and it took me by surprise honestly I'd known her and I didn't think it would hit her that hard but it did and so for the last three months it's really been a journey um, that's had ups and downs like a roller coaster and if you guys are going through this or if your partners are going through it and they're not having an easy time dealing with it it's normal I, I really have to say this like you're not the only ones and even though there are groups on Facebook or there there's stuff on YouTube guys like honestly that stuff on YouTube is only the stuff that these women or these partners are willing to show you after many years not years maybe months but sometimes years of dealing with the stuff the ugly stuff that they don't want to show on YouTube the ugly stuff the depression the grieving the not getting it like not like the whole like not being PC part of it they don't show that stuff that stuff they don't they don't put on YouTube no one wants to show that stuff. No one wants to show the crying and the, um, the the grieving and the feel like they're losing someone on YouTube. They only want to show the, oh my god, I'm so like positive and like totally supportive. Aren't I a good partner part of it? They don't want to show the, I'm a bad partner because I don't get it part of it. You know, nobody wants to show that, but that's... A fucking realistic side to this whole process and I feel like it's not represented uh, online I feel like there are partners um, you know male and female that are struggling they're alone and they're by themselves and they think what's wrong with them you know that that they can't accept it as easily as the people that they see online and I feel like <clears throat> the space isn't there for them because it's either one or the other it's sort of like you're either completely against it and fuck that shit and I don't get it or you're a hundred percent on board and you're like oh my god I love my man for who he is and I love everything about him and I'm so lucky and so on and so forth but what you don't see is the progression and the gray zone that has to happen you don't see the struggle you don't see the fluctuation you don't see the side of a person's grieving process that isn't politically correct or socially acceptable you don't get to see the quote-unquote ugly side you see what they what is acceptable or what is most progressive you don't see what is actually realistic and I feel like that's a disservice I feel it's a disservice to the partners of FTM 
dudes that are transitioning, I feel it's a disservice to FTM guys in general. Because guys that are thinking about transitioning or they're sort of like me, like when I was watching YouTube obsessively before I came out and started my transition, it's, it's um, a disservice to them to pretend that your partner is going to be like Aiden Dowling's wife and super fucking cool the whole time, no problems or whatever, and it's not necessarily the case. There are a lot of guys that have partners that have love them deeply, but they still have a process that they need to go through. And I'm here to tell you that that process is a fact that you need to understand as you're going through transition and you're, go you're going through this process and it's okay. It's okay for you as a man to feel that pressure from your partner and to feel stressed by it, to feel like sometimes you want to be strong but you don't know what to do and sometimes it's okay to say hey I I'm overwhelmed by this but I need to do what's good for me and your partner just so you know is going to say the same thing to you they are going to mirror your exact fucking response back. I'm overwhelmed by this. I need to do what's good for me. I can't handle this, etc. So, you, so, you know, in my position, <clears throat> I thought, oh, I need to educate them. They just don't know enough. They just don't know. I need to educate them. I need to take them to counseling. I need to educate them. They need to know more. I'll send them this YouTube clip. I'll send them that, you know, article online, blah, blah, blah. All it was was me pushing my point of view on them in an effort to convince them that the way they felt was not right, that the way they felt was incorrect, and that the way they should feel should align with me and with the articles and the YouTube clips that I sent them. And uh, it was kind of a, a wake-up call for me because even though it felt like the right thing to do, it was sort of an insidious manipulation. And it wasn't conscious, but it was definitely... A, a reality for me trying to convince someone to feel something differently than what they felt at that current moment is not validating their process and if you had someone who was not validating your process you would react completely different You'd be like fuck you like this is who I am this is reality, I'm a fucking man, and you need to accept it, blah, 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 call me this name, call me this pronoun, so on and so forth. And if they didn't, you would feel pissed off and upset that they weren't respecting you. But the same is true for our partners, the same is true for our loved ones. They have their own process, they have their own perspective. So the challenge for us, at least as far as I understand, and I know you guys are going to come from your own perspectives too, is to, to have space. And going to counseling does not mean that the counselor is there to convince your partner that they're wrong and that you're right. That's not their job. Going to counseling means they are there to make sure that you are heard and that your partner is heard as well and that there's mutual respect 
for where each other is in this process okay doesn't mean that you're not valid it doesn't mean that she or he is not valid either you just have to remember all that matters in this process is respect and compassion so respect in each other have compassion for each other wherever you guys are and you guys I'm talking to the guys right now that are going through this transition you have to maintain a lot of strength you have to maintain a lot of inner calm and a lot of inner strength that sometimes you're not prepared to handle and you want to just freak out and you want to just let go and sometimes you can't especially when you're in a partnership you know sometimes you need to like suck it up and keep it together for your partner because your partner is freaking out too your partner is out there flailing about feeling alone feeling confused not getting it but they fucking love you anyway and they're trying and they're really doing the best they can and sometimes you have to be the one that keeps it grounded you're the one that has to maintain and that's where we come in that's where you know you talk to me you talk to other brothers you talk to whoever but you keep it you keep it grounded as much as you can for them and for yourself for the dynamic of your relationship so just remember everybody goes through their own process your partners go through their own process and you have to respect that you can't speed it up I tried it trust me that shit doesn't speed up you can't educate them enough on YouTube you can't give them enough articles you can't do enough education to speed up an emotional process it has to go at their own individual pace okay so do what you can but don't force it just let it be what it is and focus on yourself focus on doing the best you can for yourself be grounded for your partner as much as you can and if you need to reach out reach out reach out to your friends reach out to your counselor reach out to me anybody online that you're connected with and you know we support each other that's what we do so I hope this helps I hope this helps the spouses of guys that are going through this you know so that they know they're not alone that and what you're feeling is normal you're not supposed to be a shiny rainbow unicorn you know that is happy with everything because I get it you're not and I get that this is a hard fucking process that sucks sometimes and you don't get it but that's okay nobody says you have to feel anything you don't feel and for my brothers check this out it's not their job okay that's what I'm gonna leave you guys with it's not your it's not their job it's your job to love yourself it's love love in every capacity is within you so the only person that has to love you for you is you they don't have to do shit the closest people to you your partners your loved ones your family it's not their job to love you for you it's your job to love you for you that's it all right you guys are awesome i love you guys